at this moment in time, at the time of this filming, I don't currently own this vehicle, but my childhood dream has always been to own a Lamborghini, um, a Lamborghini Aventador or a Lamborghini Countach. I'm currently, I got my hands on a Huracan. Now, oddly enough, right here, sitting right next to it, is an Audi R8, which is my son's childhood dream car. And ironically enough, they're side by side next to each other in the same beautiful, bright red. Now the thing about that, I thought that to be kind of oddly ironic because here we are. I remember when I was at that stage in my life and it was a photograph that my mom gave me as a child that helped to motivate me to keep pushing further towards my dreams in life. And here I am at this stage of my game and my life and I haven't achieved it yet. And here my son is walking up repeating the same things. Now see the thing about it is, is what hit me so hard and I had to begin to understand is that is that the thing that I want to transfer to my son? Do I want to transfer to my son that, hey son, you can you can dream about owning that car, but the truth is, you know, you, you can't own it. You can just dream about it. It's good to dream about it, but can you really own it? And what is the best way for me to show my son that he can own that car than by daddy getting the car on the other side? So I've made it my passion. To, it has reignited my 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 dream, my passion to achieve things in life that seem unattainable, those goals that I set aside when I was a child. And so I'm gonna achieve not this car, but the car on the other side. And prove to my son that it's possible, that it's every bit possible to not only touch it, feel it, but also own it. And then we already know that this is materialistic, it has no value, it is simply an idol, it is something that is man-made, okay? We understand that there are different, um, different things that are much more important in life, like your health and your strength, owning a house and making sure that you're financially stable. We understand all those things. Let's be very, very clear about that. But at this moment, understand, simply boiling it down to its most simplistic, simplistic desires of what you want. I'm telling the camera, you watching this, and my son, this is gonna be a reality for me. And it's not gonna take me a long time to do it. It's gonna simply mean making decisions and choices that I've never, that I have neglected. It is making good on the actions and plans that I talked about, the things that, the, that I post and get, like getting in better shape, continuing to redefine and rebuild and rebrand who I am and how I show up in the world. And I wanna encourage you to do the exact same thing. Now you can sit back at me and you can say, hey, let's see if he's gonna do it. You can watch me or you can get up and you can join me. The point is, it's going to happen. That's gonna happen. So I'll leave you with this. You can either sit on the sidelines and watch the players play or you can get in the freaking game and make it happen. This is Anthony Abram reminding you to sow good seeds. Do good work, reap, then teach to repeat. We coming, baby. Daddy's coming for you. Daddy is coming.